A few days ago, I posted a video where I beat Borderlands the pre-sequel using only Claptrap's action skill. I got a lot of comments saying I didn't actually beat the game because I stopped after the Zarpadon fight instead of going on to fight RK5 and the Sentinel, which confused me at first because Zarpadon is the final boss. Or at least she can be in normal mode. I thought this was common knowledge, but there are two possible endings to the game in normal mode. Maybe TVHM. I know it doesn't work in UVHM, but I haven't tested TVHM. After Jack kills the scientists in the airlock, if you talk to Moxie seven times before fighting Zarpadon, the game ends after you kill her and triggers the final cutscene and credits. Board. The vault's already open, huh? Cool. Now let's deal with that laser core. And that is when the hero who saved us on Helios died. That was when I left Handsome Jack's employ. All is happy. And you will need all the vault tokens you can get. Basically, this is the good ending. You leave Jack before helping him find the vault. Lilith and Roland beat Jack to the vault. Jack never sees the vision and the events of Borderlands 2 never happen. After the credits end, you're teleported to Jack's office and you can turn in the final mission and move on to TVHM as if you had just killed the Sentinel. They added this option with a claptastic voyage, I assume so people could move on to the later playthroughs faster, kind of like how they added boosted characters in Borderlands 2 with the Commander Lilith DLC. I'm not surprised more people haven't heard of this since there's no indication in-game that this is even possible. The only clue they gave us was a tweet from the CEO of Gearbox back in 2015. But let's be real, the reason no one knows about this is because no one gives a shit about the pre-sequel. 